How's it going? This is Fox back again. Uh, today I'm going to be messing around with Yuhi Hive again. Absolutely love this synth. I'm calling it this um, Silent Killer Part 2. Today I'm going to pair it to a, compare it to a pad that I made with Silent. It's one of my favourite pads that I've ever made with Silent. It is this LFO modulated pad. There'll be a link in the description to where I made this pad and also a link in the description to where I compare this to the virus so you can see what you think where it compares to this and the uh, the Hive one that I'm going to make. But yeah, this is the pad in Silent that I'm going to be recreating in Hive. <laughs> There it is, lovely lush pad. It's a tri a saw wave with eight voices, a square wave with four voices, and then a sine wave, an octave down, and part B reinforcing the sub part. I'm going to recreate it pretty much identically inside Hive, although I'm going to utilize its modulation capabilities to wash the chorus in and the reverb in as it progresses as well, just to add, just to show you the benefits of the modulation that Hive, Hive has got. So yeah, that is it inside, sorry, that is it inside Silent. And this is what, this is what I managed to create inside Hive. I'll do a direct comparison flicking between the two and then I'll get down to how I made it. I must admit there's not much in it in this one but I still think the Hive one beats it. So yeah for now I'm going to go and initialize this preset if I can remember how to do it. Initialize. <laughs> That's what you get as standard, just one uh, voice of saw wave running into one filter and the sub oscillator. I'll turn it off the sub oscillator now and I'll do it bit by bit. So yeah, to recreate the patch in silent, if I get the silent one up. Uh, and we're going to do this. Are they going to fit? I might have to shrink this down a bit. Near enough. So yeah, in silent we've got eight voices of unison. I'm not going to use the full 16, otherwise it'd smash it out of the park straight away. I wanted to see you to see how close they are. Uh, we got it detuned, as you can see. Um, sub oscillator one. I will do later on, I'll set that up later on, but for oscillator 2 we've got a square wave and a square wave or a pulse, exactly the same thing, I'll use a pulse. Um, four voices in unison for this and it's detuned as well. We now need to route this into the uh, filter as well. The volume's more prominent on the saw waves as you can see. Okay, we've got them both running for a low pass filter, so I'll set it to a low pass 24 decibels per octave, which we've got on silent. In silent, we have an envelope opening the filter up, mod envelope 1, which is what we're going to use on here as well. The destination is already set up for you, so I'm going to dial it positive. And then set mod envelope up as close as we can to this one to give it the same sort of we'll set the amp envelope up as well this is going to bring the volume in slowly to go correlate with the uh, filter opening up as well
I'm going to use the clean engine mode. That's most like what the silent one is. Sub, we're going to bring the sign in. Actually, um, I don't know whether the end, they start on different octaves on this, but when I was messing around with it, I had to have the the octaves are one apart on this. As you can see, the square wave is one octave below the saw wave. So yeah, we'll set this on one. We'll set this one on none, so this is an octave below. Sub oscillator is the sine, which is uh, an octave down again. This is on minus 12 semitones, so we'll bring sub oscillator one in. Okay, we're getting there. We need to do some modulation now before we set up more effects. Doesn't even need to be a low pass 24 on this, we'll keep this on the 12. No, put it back to the 24. I'm going to use another sub oscillator, I'm going to use another sign because we've got it. I'm going to boost the volume around, bring that in as well. I think I'll fix, um, set the effects up first actually and then we'll go over the uh, modulation later on because it's a little bit involved. But as you can see inside um, Silent, I have a chorus, a delay, a reverb and a compressor. I'm going to do it in that order. We'll set the chorus to the top, we'll turn it on, we'll change it to an ensemble. It's my favourite mode for the chorus. <laughs> I'm going to use mod envelope 1 which we've already set up which is the filter envelope to wash the wet for the chorus in. This is a neat little trick that Silence hasn't got. This means that the chorus is going to start at this dry wet position which is 22 and then as this uh, attack time for mod envelope 1 increases it's going to bring more wet amount of the chorus in. You can hear it, the chorus gets faster and thicker towards the end. Um, then we're going to use the delay, we're going to click it, turn it on. The settings I had for the delay were 1 over 4, if I remember correctly, and 1 over 4 triplet. We can do exactly the same inside this, 1 over 4 triplet, 1 over 4, keep it on ping pong. the silence one quick set this one on naught and this one on minus one yeah it sounds more like they're in the same ballpark now for some reason the starting point for the oscillators in hive seems to be different they seem to be an octave one or two octaves apart. I don't know why. Yeah, that sounds more like the frequency range of the silent one. Okay, after the delay, we use reverb. Um, reverb is quite heavy on the mix. The width is wide, almost all the way around. Size where it comes as standard. Damp decay, pretty much where they are. I'm going to use that um, this destination box for the mix for the reverb as well. Same thing with the chorus. As this uh, 
mod envelope is opening the filter up it's going to push the wet round for the reverb so we're going to get more reverb towards the end of the notes mixes lovely with the uh, delay Now it's just a compressor, which I had last in the chain, so we choose this box here for the compressor. Um, the release I pulled down slightly and I made it quite a snappy attack and then I just boosted the gain. Silent. Hive. So yeah, it's just... Uh, just this LFO we need to sort out now. Then I used LFO 1 for this. So LFO 1 is here. We'll set it in this uh, mod box and the destination is the cutoff for filter 1. Same with this one. I'm going to modulate it positive so it's flicking it from its position where it is to fully open. Not fully open, about that I had. And the rate are set on I believe it's one over one over thirty two so it's quite quick to start with yeah <clears throat> now um on this one I've got a mod envelope <coughs> the mod envelope one on silent for controlling the LFO one gain. Now there is no actual gain knob on these amps, but you can um, do the volume of them in a way by these via boxes. So if I set an envelope in the via box, it's it's almost like the envelope is going to control at what speed the LFO comes in. And we're going to use the amp envelope for that. And we're going to set this. It's just the rate we have to sort out now. Same thing again, I use a mod envelope one, same filter envelope for pretty much everything, so it's a nice consistent speed to control LFO one rate, which is that. And then I dialed it negative. So it's going to be fast at the start and then it's going to slow down. Fine line, you have to play with the attack so that it ends right on the one over one. Pretty much got it there. I think that's pretty much it. So you have virtually the same patch. Uh, so the only thing I've done just to add a little bit more spice in Hive is uh, I've uh, modulated the chorus wet and the reverb dry wet so that they come in gradually with the filter envelope. But yeah, I mean, that is how I've done it exactly. Silence maximum unison voices is eight. So I'll compare the two and then I'll boost the vo uh, unison voices up just on the saw wave just so you can hear the difference it makes. So this is Hive again. Silent. 
So not much in it. Um, the delay is really nice inside silent actually. It's probably a little bit better. The feedback's probably a little bit higher. Let me turn this up again on the hive. <laughs> Try this one on naught and this one on one. Not bad. I say, look, we'll just increase the unison voices on the saw wave so you can hear the difference. So this is it on eight. Sixteen. Okay, you he hive silent killer, you decide. Wins again in my eyes. <clears throat> That's the closest comparison you're going to get, really, of me trying to recreate it exactly. I mean, the filters are going to react differently. Some of them might bleed. The slopes are not going to be exactly the same. Um, tiny little differences like that. Obviously, the effects are different. They're made by different people. The chorus is a lot, lot better inside uh, Hive. So is the reverb in my eyes. Silent. Five. Well, there you go. Um, good comparison. Thanks for watching. As I say, I'll do a link in the description so you can see me where I made this pad. I mean, I've pretty much gone through it now, but I'll do a link in the description anyway. Also, a link to the video where I uh, made this patch inside the virus as well, so you can sort of see the free and contrast. And subscribe up here if you've enjoyed this. It really does help me to do more tutorials. If you're interested in, in any private lessons for Silence, uh, Hive, the virus, or any of the uh, synths that I use, please get in touch. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Cheers.